is a beautiful mid 19th century full leather binding. It's uh, almost certainly the publisher's deluxe uh, premium binding, sold probably around Christmas time as a present type of a gift book. It has this large pictorial stamp of a Native American in this battle scene here. The both covers, both boards are ornately embossed in uh, decorative scrolls and vegetation with this large blind stamp of what appears to be a missionary preaching to a group of Native Americans. When we go inside like so to take a look, what we'll see is a hand-colored frontispiece here with this hand-colored half title, 1851 Auburn. Here is the title page, 1851, and it's by this author who actually was not in very sympathetic to Native Americans. Um, and what we'll see throughout it is a profusion of these wood engravings, many of them, many of them in fact, being full page like so. Yes, it's, it's profusely illustrated. The text block shows some signs of handling and spotting and light, small, scattered soiling like so. But the pages are still um, tightly sewn, and the book is bound uh, and uh, sound structurally as issued. Once we get about halfway through it, we find that there is a second book bound in. This is Indian Captivities uh, by Samuel Drake, actually a New Hampshire native, uh, same year, wood engraving by Orr. And Drake was far more sympathetic to Native Americans and their plight and their treatment. Um, and here we have uh, fewer uh, wood engravings in this second half, but there are some uh, full page ones like this. Yes, it's uh, a very interesting book uh, and it is most noteworthy overall, I would say, for the really pleasing uh, binding that it has and the state of preservation that it's in. Uh, the majority of leather bindings of this era do not survive in this kind of a bright, clean, sound condition. And this is a beautiful example of a uncommon mid-19th century Native American book and it is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.